Sully. No, I'm Sammy. I like going to Robert Hall because I want to get prizes. <laughs> My brother goes for the <laughs> goes for the prizes, but I go for the dining. Zara ka shofa leh se gada paze Out of all the Kodesh things studies that they have, it's one of the most unique, beautiful thing that they can share with the community and that the leaders of the community are teaching the next generation. Rabbi is a relaxed best to, to be around. He always makes the, the learning interesting so that you are never bored and want to want muck about when you are learning with him. I think what's unusual about Rabbi Tawal is he's looking to help or be involved with the community at all different levels. The young children, which is very, very unusual, to the teenagers, to the young, to the young professionals, the singles, and even the young marrieds. It's very unusual to have such a vast uh, spectrum of people. Um, My name is Betzalel and I'm six years old. Every um, Sunday I go to Rabbi Tawil and do the Ta'amim. For us it's a big dream, it's something which we're very very excited about and I really do believe it will help him for his whole future, being involved in the community, being confident in everything he does, not having any stress when it comes to please God to his bar mitzvah, that is really is a wonderful thing. Rabbi Tawil taught me for my bar mitzvah, um, so he taught me how to read from the Torah. I never knew how to do it, and he taught me the basics. And since then, I, I can read much better than I used to be able to, thanks to him. He taught me how to put the fillin on. He taught me how to pray in the mornings. He, he, he gave me guidance. Tal runs a program at Emmanuel, where he comes usually once a week, and he, he does it like, um, he gives everyone to eat and he teaches them Torah about the parasha of the week and it's very, very good. He does it for Sephardis mainly <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's, it's very helpful. Tal creates a, a nice, safe environment for like-minded Jews to come and meet each other to be inspired, to be proud of their Jewish heritage, and to have a great time. Well, I admire Tal for many reasons. For starters, you know, I've learned a lot about kind of the whole, you know, about the religion, um, kind of being more connected to Hashem. And I take it all on board, I take it in. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of growing with Tal in a way. The way Tal could have affected people is just that you can see from the people that come again and again and again. You can always see the positive influence that Tal has over them. I think there is there is a real need for Tal um, today because the, it's it's how it's run. It's very it's it's very genuine. It's 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 very real, and you can feel it. And that's why people have been involved for however long they have been involved. You can see they treat people not just as as friends as family. Tal has made a big difference in my life. I've met wonderful people. Um, I was recently on a ski trip and I met the most incredible people, such chen, such giving, kind people. I was falling all over on the slopes and I had people who I'd never met before helping me, spending the time to like look after me and teach me. So yeah, great people. So you meet wonderful people on, the, on Tal here throughout the community, it's great. Uh, Tal has affected my life positively. I feel uh, more connected to Judaism and to hear stories about talks and things I didn't hear about before. There's a feeling that when you leave, you just there's this feeling of happiness, and you want to come back to it. And not only do you want to come back to it, you want to bring everyone into it. You've got there's something else about it that you don't necessarily get with any other organisations or any other rabbis. It's just this feeling of welcome, 
Tal Chabaton, per I personally think are amazing because we have, it are very international, we have people from all over the world, Italy, Gibraltar, Spain, France and uh, you can meet a lot of people, a lot of new friends uh, and uh, it's amazing. I know two or three people that met through Tal and are now dating. Most definitely Tal is very important for that situation. So well, there's not a lot of organizations that put uh, like people meet and eventually would be dating. So in my view that's a superb organization strategy. Well I feel like Tal, what they do is like from the start they like take you through steps because like we said they have young married couples programs so I, I think the ideal is like you meet like you make events and people meet each other there and then if you know she do ha happens it's good if not then they get married and then they keep going with town and, you know and then if they have kids there's also has a mood so what I, I think is also good that they keep the community together and they do community stuff so it's essential that you know it's also good to have a guide there that guides you through your steps of life. I got told by two people to come to a Tal event and I didn't think much about it but they really pushed for it and they were really enthusiastic so I thought I'd come along and share the enthusiasm and I really, it really clicked with me from the first event and uh, made me feel a part of it really. It's great because while you're, you could be connecting to the, the things that are taught to you, you can also be connected to the people around you which is amazing. I think it's incredible that there's so many different international, like different nationalities and world together as one, it really shows that we're one family. So the Tu Bishvat event was my very first orthodox event. So I'm not from an orthodox background. I've met some great people and Rabbi Tavil has been so warm and accepting and has made me feel very welcome, which is very important to me. I think what makes Tal different is the way that they do it. Uh, they inspire through their, their events, specifically their trips as well, you know, taking you to um, ski in lovely resorts, climbing up the mountain, uh, climbing down the mountain as well. You're seeing, you're seeing nature. You see the, you see the hand of Hashem, and through that, through the inspirational phase, you get to learn, you know, the detail, the detail behind Judaism. The last two years, particularly, were unbelievable. Had I not gone skiing and just met these wonderful people, it would have been worth it. They are fantastic value for money and they could be potentially life-changing. I've been involved in Tal literally since the beginning of the creation of Tal. In respect to Rabbi Twill, he's not only a rabbi, he's also a personal friend. And also the Rebison, we can't forget her. Um, she's also a personal friend to my wife, and whenever we have any questions, we can ask them. They're a great family, and, and that we on, we really look up to them as great friends. Thank God, seven weeks ago we had a baby girl. And um, unfortunately, in the beginning, it was very difficult, and she was not brought to to earth the way a normal baby was brought to earth she wasn't breathing but Hashem she pulled through and she is a beautiful baby Mia has gone from strength to strength now the reason I had a dinner was obviously we wanted to say Toda to Hashem for giving us this beautiful baby and the first thing I did was I called I mean I wanted to find a venue first person I thought of was Rabbi Tawil the minute I called him up I said Rabbi I want to do a Soda Oda so anytime, let me know, our house is yours. We were involved with Tal um, after we got engaged and um, Rabbi Tawil kindly agreed to officiate our marriage. Um, and we, we then were lucky enough to have lessons with uh, Rabbi Tawil and uh, Raya. How long have you been married? Uh... You should know this. I should know this. <laughs> uh, seven months. Ten months? No, it's only ten months. No, eight yeah. months, I'd say. Eight months. First test. <laughs> <laughs> the great start we've had to married life, a, a lot of it is down to what we learned with uh, uh, Jonathan and, and Raya, without a doubt. I think it's, you know, partly it's the, the people. Mm. I think it's kind of... You know, Rabbi Tawil, Raya themselves as people, they, 
you know, that they really, kind of their values really shine through and kind of their warmth as people really shine through and, you know, it's kind of human, you're very much attracted to that, they're very genuine and down to earth and, you know, that they very kind of encourage people to be able to, to get together but in yeah. a, in a non-judgmental way. It's knowing that you've got that support network from people like uh, Rabbi Tawil and Raya and Tal gives you a lot of, lot of strength, really. Rabbi Tawil is very nice and um, calm. He's very down to earth. He's very easy to speak to. You don't need to act more behaved with him. You be yourself and he adapts to whoever he's speaking to. So yeah, that's one of his best traits. And um, yeah, he's a spectacular guy. So I'm lucky enough to have come in in the 1923 tile programs. Uh, I've still got another, I don't know, 10, 15 years of tile in me with the uh, young professionals and the young married couple programs. Um, I really feel that what people have given me with this advice and just the friendships I can give back to them in the future years. The value of that is infinity. There is no value to something as beautiful as that. By making an investment in Tal, you're investing in the, in the future jury, in UK jury and international jury. And that element specifically as well, international jury, is where Tao really thrives. It's impacted on my life because I'm a type of person that likes to give and I like to help. And me being involved in Tao has made me a better person by showing other people what we can give to them. You don't just go to Tao and leave it, Tao becomes you. I think what's amazing is that Rabbi Tao and his wife are achieving so much and touching so many people, which is mind-boggling when it's just the two of them, one would think if there was a team of staff working with Rabbi Tawa, other educators, rabbis, what they could achieve, they really could revolutionise what's happening here in London. <laughs>